Okay. Go. Yep. Yep. All right. So we're going to get the equation of a cubic when I know the stationary point and when I know a, a y-intercept. And I'll use the, um, the, the general form of that one, which we have over here. And we just played around on Desmos to see what each of these does to the graph. All right. Uh, so first of all, just like a parabola, what we're going to do is substitute x and y and h and k and solve for that a. All right. So in case we um, forget, that is just some random point we're given, x, y. And this is the stationary point, h, k. Um, we, don't, we don't get too caught up with um, those letters. We just need to know that's a stationary point, and that's the y-intercept. But it can be any point. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be that one. Um, so would you be OK if I just crammed all of those in there at once Yeah. and solve for a? Yeah. When I did this at first, I'm like, just do x and y, and then do h and k. But I'm just going to put all of them in and say 2.6 equals a, uh, x is 0 minus 2 cubed plus 5. Okay? So we cram it all in there, and I'm going to solve for a, just like I did with the parabola. Um, yeah, and then we have to do some, uh, some, a little bit of tinkering around in here, I guess. a times negative 2 cubed plus 5. And here, of course, we remember rules of bed mass, which are definitely in effect. Bed mass, definitely in effect there. Um, which means I have to do exponents before I do that multiplying. Okay? And it's cubed this time. So negative 2 cubed, negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which we all know is negative 8. 2.6 equals a times negative 8 plus 5. And here I have a two-step linear equation that we did years ago, hopefully. Um, subtract 5 from both sides, and I get uh, 2.6 minus 5 gives me negative 2.4. Am I right there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to do calculations in my head while the camera's rolling. Um, and I clean this up to get negative 8a. All right, and I'm just going to pause right there because yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the cool way of writing that instead of a times negative 8. We write it as a, as a coefficient. And what's my last step? To solve for a. Divide both sides by? A. Negative 8. Negative 8, not a. Goodness, we get nowhere fast there. Uh, 2.4, yeah. And I get my magic coefficient. Negative divided by negative is positive, and I can do that in my head. It's 0 0.3. Oh, boy. OK. And so your last step is you, uh, you enter A, you enter H, and you enter K into the equation. Back into this guy. And you get Y equals 0 0.3 X minus 2 cubed plus 5. And you go, OK, that's my scale factor. Horizontal transformation and vertical transformation. And... It's very similar to what we did as a parabola, isn't it? There's not really that much difference. Cut. We're good.